Boulder Mountain, it's Kyle here. I am in Kansas, outside of Kansas City on the Kansas side. I'm visiting some family up here in some cooler temps and seeing the trees change into their fall colors. I want to take just a couple of minutes to talk about the implications of what's happening in the Middle East. What took place on Saturday is something that we'll remember the rest of our lives. It, the implications of what took place on Saturday will, will be discussed for the rest of our lives. Israel has not been at war since 1973 with the Yom Kippur War. Uh, Israel as a nation is constantly being attacked. Their, their survival is constantly being attacked and there's rockets coming down on them. So they are, their security is a really big deal. The United States shares intelligence with, with Israel. But I want to go back to Genesis 12, 1 and 2, where God says to Abraham, I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. That is still true to this day. God still remembers Israel. God is not done with the nation of Israel. Yes, we're in the church age. But one of the last prophecies to be fulfilled in Jeremiah 16 is God says the Jews will inherit their land. The, God's people will inherit the land. And that took place in 1948 when Israel became a nation. It was on the uh, tail end of the World War II, post-World War II. The United Nations recognized Israel as a nation. The United States was a part of that. The United States has been an ally of Israel ever since then. We've been a strong supporter and ally, as I said, <clears throat> even sharing intelligence. And so it'll be interesting to see in the days to come who speaks out against Israel and who speaks for Israel. Bless those who bless you, curse those who curse you. Israel's never been a neutral nation. People either hate Israel, death to Israel, want to see Israel cease to exist as a nation, or they're an ally and a supporter. Israel's sole existence that they are the ultimate definition of a security nation. Uh, they, <clears throat> their sole existence depends on defending herself. And so they have a right to defend them, herself as, as a nation. And we, we believe in that and we support that. Does that mean as a follower of Jesus, I support every policy of Israel? No, but we support their existence as a nation of, of the, the Jews. Now, when we say we pray for Israel, it does not mean that the exclusion of the Palestinians in the area. Uh, the Palestinians are living in horrific conditions. There are many Christian churches. There are many Christian Palestinians in that area. There are churches all over who, who follow Jesus. They are not being represented. They are represented by a government they did not elect. They are represented by extreme Muslim organizations. Terrorist organizations are representing them. And so when we, we say the Palestinians, we're not talking about the people of Palestine. We're talking about Hamas, a terrorist organization in the south, Hezbollah, a terrorist organization in the north. Many of them are getting their funding from other nations like Iran that are, that are funding them. So when we say we pray for that region, ultimate peace will not exist until Jesus returns. And so do we just throw up our hands and say, well, it's a lost cause? No. Psalm 122 verses 6 through 8 tells us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for that area. I pray that Jews would come to know Jesus as their Messiah. Would you join me in praying that this tragic, horrific, awful event would lead people to come to know Jesus. I pray that for the Palestinians living in that, that area. Number two, we pray for justice to take place, that, that justice, that uh, God would, would deal with the injustice, that God would deal with the evil that's taking place. Now, Israel's going to respond. I believe it's already taking place as I record this. Israel's going to respond, and there will be Christians on both sides who die in this. There are Christians who have already lost their life from the attacks. I heard, read one say, this is Israel's 9-11, right? Um, more people were killed in the attacks uh, this past weekend than, uh, than since the Holocaust, all right? Over 1,200, they're still finding bodies and they're still hearing stories. And, and what makes this more difficult, there's many hostages that were taking place. Now, it'll be interesting to see the response of other nations who speak up and call evil evil and those who, who speak up and, 
and continue to chant death to Israel. There are many nations of the world who love to see nothing more than for Israel to cease to exist as a Jewish nation. So I'm going to ask that you would you would join me in in praying for Israel. Boulder Mountain, what what's our role in this? That we would pray, that we would pray for for our brothers and sisters both in Palestine who are followers of Jesus and and in Israel. We pray for the nation of Israel. God's not done with the nation of Israel. Would you join me in praying? So Father God, we lift up Israel. Uh, the magnitude of this is great. We recognize that. We know that this is not uh, just a, a passing event, that there are great implications here. We pray that uh, Jews, that you would lift the veil off their eyes and they would come to know Jesus as their Messiah and ultimately experience true peace and reconciliation that can only be found in Jesus. I pray that for the Palestinians living in that region. We pray that for the Jewish people as well. We ask this, God, we pray that your promises, your prophecies would be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we'll continue to discuss that, this in the days and weeks to come as, as we see how this unfolds, but that the temperature in that region will only continue to increase, will not decrease. Uh, the magnitude of this is great, and we're not to, not to be people of fear, so keep that in mind. Um, this did not take God by surprise, took the Israeli government by surprise, took the United States by surprise. Um, but there are, there are hundreds of thousands of Israeli reservists being called up uh, as we speak. They're being called up. They're being repositioned. And there will be other nations that this will impact, uh, our military uh, possibly as well. And so let's continue to pray um, that God's will be done in that region. Uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, Boulder Mountain.